Hello, everyone. I'm going to talk about how to maximize success with your care center visit. Um, I'm obviously going to reference Nemours because that's the care center that I work at. So um, I'm just I'm I'm going to give you hopefully be able to provide you with some tips for your own care center, just general tips. Um, but a lot of it will be kind of geared towards Nemours. Uh, I was a Blake for nine years at the MDA. I had the same position as Blake, and then I did a continuous improvement um, fellowship. Oh, yeah. <laughs> for 18 months, and then now I am the Neuromuscular Program Coordinator for Dr. Finkel and Dr. Giordano. There you go. Okay, thank you. So disclaimer, we don't, you know, we're not claiming to be the best, most efficient care center. Um, we're always looking to improve and make adjustments to help with clinic flow, to make it the best experience it can be for you all. Um, our clinic at Nemours is Wednesday afternoon and Thursday mornings. It's a multidisciplinary approach, which most care centers are. Um, ours includes a medical assistant, physical therapist, occupational therapist, a registered nurse, a registered dietitian, myself, the clinical coordinator, and then Blake, our MDA care specialist. Um, so it's a multidisciplinary approach with the family being in the center, with your support being right behind you. And then you have all of these specialties that you're seeing. Um, and you'll see that off to the side are Drs. Finkel and Giordano, who oversee all the different specialties that you all go to. Um, so it, it's really important to make sure that all of the other specialties, if you choose to go outside of your care center clinic to see those specialties, that you're making sure that those notes get back to your care center specialists. Um, so, and I'll, I'll explain a little bit more about that in a minute. So how can you prepare for your visit? You write down your questions or concerns prior to your visit. And these might come up throughout your day. These might come up throughout, you know, if you have a, if you have a clinic appointment every three months, maybe throughout the three months, um, questions, concerns pop up. You know, you want to keep, you want to keep uh, track of them all, write them all down. Um, what are your expectations of the visit? This is something that our care center nurse comes in prior to you seeing the provider, and she will ask you, what are your expectations for today? And so that really shapes the entire visit for the provider. So she reports back to the provider with all of your questions and then also what your specific expectation is for today. So I think it's really important to think about that. Um, what is your expectation for that clinic visit? Take notes throughout the visit, ask your questions, what forms do you need fill out, filled out? So this is gonna prevent delay. So if you can give us whatever forms that you need filled out up front, um, right at the beginning of your visit, some of these forms are really lengthy. So if you can give them to us up front, right at the beginning of your visit, we can work on those throughout your visit instead of having you all wait you know, at the end of your visit for us to get those to you. And do you need a note for work or school? Those are, those are things that you can do right at the registration desk before you even come back to see us. So does your clinic, does your care center clinic have an online portal? This has been hugely helpful for our families to be able to have direct contact with Dr. Finkel and Dr. Giordano. So it goes to our clinic nurse, Cheryl, and these are questions that maybe you have. These are, I lost my labs. Um, this is, we talked about going to get a DEXA scan, but I don't have an order for that. What do I do? So um, this, this is something that you definitely want to register for and think about, you know, do, does your care center have an online communication tool? So at the end of your visit, an after, AVS is called an after visit summary. And this is where the provider will put a plan together on what they expect you to do from today until the next time that you come. And so something that you can do is just you can, you can basically compare, you know, he wants you to go see endocrinology. Did I get a referral for endocrinology? And this is something that as a coordinator I do prior to leaving, but it's good for you to do too. We wanna to make sure that you have what you need and that you have what was discussed at your visit. Um, it also, the after visit summary we'll talk about at next visit, this is what our, our plan will be. So I compile this wonderful summary for Dr. Finkel and Dr. Giordano about all of your care and your functional testing, about your equipment, status, and I go through each patient and pull this together. So initially this was a very time consuming task, but going forward I can copy and paste and just update as you come back. Um, and so this, you can see clinic prep, if you can see the arrow on, by pulmonology. 
Um, why, you know, it's been two years since the patient has seen pulmonary. So why, you know, and so that's going to trigger Dr. Finkel to say, hey, did you, have you been to pulmonary? What's going on with that? Are we, is it outside of clinic? Should we um, be looking for those notes? Um, do we need to call a certain office to get those notes? Um, so this helps him to see what standard of care components you're missing, um, what's next, when you're due for your DEXA, when you're due for um, a swallow study or orthopedics, you know, when is your next x-ray? Um, so this is hugely helpful for the providers. And alone we can do so little, together we can do so much. Again, this is our, our team. Um, we all, the, you know, the passion for the kids and, and knowing the difference we're making made you know, each hurdle manageable and less frustrating, but we, we all bring a different component of care to, to your child. And so it's important for us as a team to do um, clinic meetings, pre-clinic meetings, we talk about what's coming, it's all, and we also do an after-clinic meeting to talk about what happened in the meet in, in clinic that day, and what's going on with your child, um, because we don't, we sometimes don't know. We all go in at different times. Dr. Finkel may not know what the dietitian talked about with you, and so she's able to provide an overview to him, um, and so I think that it, I think that doing the pre-clinic meetings and after-clinic meetings have been helpful. So any questions about ma maximizing your care center visit? No questions? All right, thank you, Kelly. You're welcome.